Hey guys, it's here, and today I have no idea what this video is going to be about. Can I fix the lighting? Probably. Will I? Yes. I did not just do that. I legitimately think I just broke the light. I have no idea if there's any other lights I can use. I could just film like this, or like this. Ah, we could make a creepy video, oh my god! I could read you guys some creepy pasta. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know if you guys want to listen to me read it. Okay, I am finally back. I probably should have stopped recording. But I got a new light bulb. So we're gonna go put that in and hopefully it'll work. Good news is it works. Bad news is now it's too bright. So we're gonna put it back on top and see how that goes. I think I broke this one too. So <laughs> I broke the fucking bolt again. I think I'm gonna have to go record and make a completely different room just because I don't have light in here now. Um, My closet has a light. I don't know if it works, but it has a light. The glare on this thing is terrible. I'm so sorry you guys are gonna have to watch this. I'm gonna go uh, get the bulb from a closet. I promise I won't break this one. Okay, so I have a light now. I'm not going to be moving this. The lesson I have learned today is don't move your light bulbs unless you know what you're doing. Or if you have a lamp with two spots for a light, have two light bulbs and not just one. And maybe three light bulbs because black light in your normal overhead light isn't a good idea because it's not an actual normal light and you can't see very well. Lesson learned. Now let's go try to move that light on the thing to where I have lighting. As you can tell, my hair is like kind of really wavy and floofy right now, and that's due to the humidity, and so yeah. Before we actually get this video started, since so much has already happened, I just want to take a moment to say I was on vacation in Texas for like a week, and so I was unable to post last week. And then the week before that, I didn't post anything because I was busy trying to get ready for the vacation. So, sorry guys. <laughs> I think today I'm going to just read a post from Amino. 
So I'm looking at Amino at the moment trying to find a post that I will read to you and talk about today. And I open up the Tuber YouTube Amino that I'm in. And it the first post I see is eating olives and it's a poll and it says the description says which YouTuber's belly button would you rather eat olives out of without using your hands? Um, no one. That's extremely weird. No. <laughs> Just no. I would not. No. Same glitch. Why? Oh, it's Wacky Pole Wednesday. That's why. But still, why? And it's gotten 46 votes. <laughs> I'm gonna change my shirt so that way I can read off this post. Called just a thought I've been having, so be right back. This was about two to three weeks ago when I got the shirt. It says, I'd love to stay in chat, but I'm, but I, but I'm lying. <laughs> My dad bought it for me from the, from the men's section, okay? Now, this isn't going to be about how Oh, it's from the men's section. I had to convince him so much to let me get it. No. Both of us were completely okay with me getting it. He encouraged me to get it because the shirts were cheap, they looked nice, and I'd taken a strong interest in them. So, and it's not going to be about, this isn't going to be about how there were other people in the store like, oh, you're letting your daughter buy men's clothes? No, that's not it. So yeah. This is more about identities, I suppose. I'm just going to read from the post. So. And this was a thought I had for a while after buying the shirt. I'm reading straight from the app. Sorry for the glare, sorry you can't see it. But yeah, I'm reading straight from my post. And I'll let you guys know what I said. The thought I've been having is in the store, it was labeled as a men's shirt. But the moment it was purchased, it became my shirt. It lost the label, men's shirt, because I said it did. The same goes for all of my clothes. Most of them were girls' clothes, but at that moment of purchase, they became my clothes. The label no longer existed because I didn't want it to. Now, as I'm writing this, I realize the same goes for the people of this world. More specifically, on the amino I was on. They had a label, female, male, both, neither, and everything else that exists. But as soon as they decided they don't want it, the label no longer exists for them. And that was my post. So, I found that it was quite, it could possibly help people on that amino who were struggling to accept themselves. Um, I got quite a bit of positive feedback from it. A lot of people loved it. They loved my idea of how the clothing lost its label. I personally really think about things like this sometimes. I just delve into topics sometimes, and I just swim around in my own brain for a while half the time when I'm thinking about these things. So I stay up until like 3 in the morning thinking about gender and equality and sexuality and romantic orientation and so many things. Half the time it's not even just those, it's just me being up thinking because I can't stop. But yeah, that's a video for another day.
I couldn't record the video I actually wanted to record this week because I didn't have it fully fledged out. And I just realized you could see my little cow the entire time. Oh, watch as he throws off the white balance. <laughs> so that was that. Um, I will hopefully be able to record that video the way I want it to next week and post it for you on time at when on Wednesday at noon central time I think I think that's my time zone uh yeah that's all for today you get a two in one woo story about this shirt and you get to see me fail at changing light bulbs twice in a row Pretty interesting. This is why you don't let Viz mess with light bulbs ever, ever again. I'm never moving that until it's like dead. Oh, also, real quick, I'm probably gonna be dyeing my hair, this part of my hair, purple sometime soon, so I don't know when exactly. It'll probably be right before school starts. Um, yeah. So that's all. Bye!